I'm Martine LaDuke. I'm Ginger Rem. And this is Life, Life Science at a Social, social Distance. distance. Hi, I'm Ginger and this is Jamie Height with me here at the boardwalk at Brooker Creek Preserve here in Tarpon Springs and we're going to talk to you about uh, flowering and non-flowering plants. So let's take a look. So what do we have here, Ginger? Uh, over here we have a couple of different things. These would be considered the non-flowering plants. These are ferns. We have cinnamon ferns which grow a nice big stalk in the fall and they have this, the spores on the actual stalk. And then we have sword ferns and these actually have the spores on the backs of the leaves. So it's exciting to see the differences. Uh, a lot of times we think just ferns always have spores on the leaves and cinnamon fern is an exception to that. It does not actually have the spores. And what we know is the spores are not seeds. They're actually, they will form individual plants unlike a flowering plant, right, that makes seeds. Right. Do we have any flowering plants here? We do have a flowering plant here. Yeah, here we have the beautyberry bush. It is just starting to get little buds forming. Cool. And those will turn into beautiful flowers. And um, then eventually here in the, the end of summertime, fall, we'll get beautiful purple berries. And um, tracks the cat birds. They love to eat those. And so talk about seed dispersal. So how do the, those berries, the seeds that are in those berries, how do they get dispersed around the park? Well, the catbirds love to eat them. And so they come and they kind of frenzy on there. And some of them, of course, will get dropped to the ground. They'll be able to um, germinate in the ground and then grow into new beauty berry bushes. And then also we know how they love to eat them. And then everybody goes to the bathroom. So they will pass those little seeds and we'll get more beauty berry bushes that way too. So Ginger, what are some other flowering plants that we have around Brooker We Creek have Preserve? a lot of different flowering plants, especially here during the summer. We're starting to get into the rainy season. We have button bush, we have lizard tail, a um, couple other ones that attract butterflies too, and bees. Excellent. Yeah. All right, hey Ginger, you know what we got here? Moss. We got some moss Welcome here, moss. which is another type of non-flowering plant, similar to a fern, that it does produce spores to reproduce. Um, it does not uh, produce seeds. It is not a flowering plant, so it will not go through the flowering process. Um, it will create spores for reproduction similar to the fern, and you can usually find it on the side of trees. Um, the gray stuff that hangs from trees, a lot of people call that moss. Yes, and we have some right here. Oh. It is Spanish, called Spanish moss, but it's actually not moss. It's not even Spanish. It's um, actually an epiphyte, so related to air plants. And hey, we have another great example of a non-flowering plant. This pine tree is a non-flowering seed-bearing plant. So it doesn't produce spores, it actually does create seeds, but it's a non-flowering plant. So instead of a flower, we have ginger. Pine cones. This is one where the squirrels have already chewed at it to get the little seeds, which of course will disperse seeds. And then we have the full pine cone here. And in each of these little pieces, you can peel them down and inside you find seeds. So here we have some examples of the seeds that are in the pine cone. They just have the little end here with the seed. They have a long, almost kind of like a feather or, and here you can see the seeds on the end. And then they have that feather-like or wing-like part. Why does it have that wing-like part? What does that do? That helps it move and the wind can carry it, oh. animals can pick that up on their fur. Squirrels, again, love to eat those seeds and um, water can carry it too. I hope everybody has learned a lot about flowering and non-flowering plants. Come out to the park and check it out yourself. We'll see you next time.